one minute, and there will be a face reveal. Three, two, one. Yo. Good morning. Good afternoon. It is 10 10 a.m. on Friday, May 10th. It's been a few days since I've streamed. I think the last time I streamed was on last. Yeah, it was Cinco de Mayo, so Sunday. Took a few days off. Not saying that I didn't work on those days. Um, I'll be honest, I was really anxious. May is not a good month for me, just cause, um, hashtag trauma, <laughs> that I will not talk about. But, yeah, so, dude, legit so annoyed. I was supposed to go in for my dental cleaning on Monday. I went in, all the staff was super nice, everybody was chill. But they looked at my gums and my teeth, and they were like, Actually, Peason, your teeth are so, like, fucked up, but not really fucked up, that we have to schedule four separate deep cleaning appointments. And the earliest we can see you is, guess what, August. So after we- they couldn't do anything. They were like, actually, your gums are, like, really fucked up, allegedly. Like, on a scale of ten, being, like, your gums are done, Okay, this is like too... This is like too hype music. <laughs> this compilation is boss music to play while working fast food. Let's not do this. We'll listen to that later. And later. Yeah, so... My gums are not ideal, so they have to do like deep gum cleaning. And only a specialist can do that, so... I have to wait till fucking August! And I have to go there four times! So, I do that on Monday. I come back home. I have to do other shit. And then, for them to forward my x-rays to a different clinic, they were like, Oh, you have to come back and sign paperwork. That way we can have it authorized to be sent. And I'm like, okay. So I go back on Tuesday. Granted, it takes an hour for me to get to this clinic. Like... 30-40 minute bus ride, and then a 20 minute uphill walk. So I already did that fucking twice on Monday, so I do that again on Tuesday. And I had two other appointments on Tuesday too, so I had to squeeze it in my day. I get there, and the lady at the desk is like, actually, the person on the phone was incorrect. You actually do not need to fill out a form. You're totally fine. We just do it anyway. We just send it, and it's fine. I'm like, what? So... I wasted two extra fucking hours on Tuesday. Like, it, it's whatever, it's not the worker's fault, but still, my time wasted on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, uh, I, I was so, I was so tired, and I was really anxious. And then Thursday, yesterday, uh, I had appointments, so, yeah. N not a stress-free day the past few days I've taken off, but... I feel fine today. We're doing art, so you know it's chill. You know, my little brain should be able to handle it. Hashtag mental health me. Yeah, so that was the past few days. Like, I didn't- I was playing a lot of games. <laughs> I'm all- I'm like 80% done with Unicorn Overlord. And then, dude, I watched Queso stream the other day, and I forgot about Supermarket Simulator, so I've been playing that the past few days. Oh yeah. Um, plan today is simple. Writing all my followers' names and portrait sketch cards. That is the plan. We have four cards to do today. We have a lot. We got a lot of donators last month. I think we had a total of six people eligible and four people got cards. So we're going to work on that today. 
Not many followers' names to write today. April was a slow month. But you know what? We're here. Um, before we get started, I don't- I'm probably not gonna stream this weekend, because it's Mother's Day, and I'm hanging out with my friend. So, I think not- also, I really want to play Poke Rogue. I really want to. I made an account just so I can get my username. And I made a save file just to see what the UI looks like. And I really want to do it. But I told myself I'm not going to beat Poke Rogue until I beat Peace Love. And you know what? We're, only, we're already 10 days into May. We need to start Mario May. Because Paper Mario comes out soon. And I have it on the way. So I want to play that first. So, I think next week, we'll start Mario week, and then whenever I beat all the Mario games, we'll go back to Peace Luck. You know what? Peace Luck may go into June, but I think it's funnier if Peace Luck takes forever. But I think I've decided whenever I do Peace Luck, I'm not going to do Peace Luck for multiple days in a row, because I think that, like, breaks my brain. So, whenever I go back to Peace Luck, it'll either be, like, a every other day or maybe twice a week type stream. But yeah, so plan is simple. Mario week starts next week. That way we can beat all our Mario games before the new Paper Mario comes out. Which, I don't know if I'm going to buy the new Paper Mario right away. You know, it's not in the budget. Because May is my last month of disability benefits, so June, I'm off the hook. I'm going to be shielding so many primes in June. Anyway, let's get started. Yeah. It works! Oh, before we get started, it is May, so I did post the best of April compilation on Wednesday or Thursday. So, these, this is your month's new top clipper. We had Mother Electra with 10 total points, 5 clips titled them all. Eth Maker in 2nd place with 8 total points. You know what, Electra? Get on it next month, Ethan almost beat you. We had myself with two clips, two titles, so four points. And Cuterly, first time on the board, with one clip and one title with two points. So, Electra, enjoy your continued VIP badge and your $25 Twitch gift card. Thank you for your help. I think Electra has had the VIP since December. They've been grinding. Okay. So these are, let's just do close ups of our sketch cards before we get started. Now, some of these look a bit rough. But I promise it'll look better. We had computer, not Mac, Go Bobo, and Mother Electra. So we'll work on these sketch cards after calligraphy is done. So anybody who followed during the month of April or early May will see their name be written today. I also rearranged my desk setup so I give myself a little bit more room today. Okay, let's get started. Trying to make sure my journal fits. I think I have like 10 names today. I messed up already. I almost spelled owner wrong. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, that two is literally perfect. First mess up of the day. It's been months since I've messed up a name. I know you guys can't see him, but there's an underscore. It's that dude. Man! You know what? That's why I didn't run a prediction today, because I knew I was going to fuck up. A reset time. Well, I thought this was the edge of my table, but it's my mouse. God damn it. I'm rusty. Okay, let's see if this name will trip me up again. It won't. Surely.
Okay, their name won't fit, but it's... Zenitsu. Back on track. One page done. Running into the final four. The names look- that one looks lovely and cursive. I think it's Macy Me. I think we saw Ghostly in chat the other day. Oh yeah, they said they found me from IG. <laughs> I just think it's funny, out of all the platforms, 
The one that I have the least amount of clout. My clips account has been doing well, though. I don't know why. Like, most of my reels get at least a thousand views now. And I swear I'm not hacking. The final follower. Surely I won't mess up? There we go. That's all the followers I got during the month of April in early May. Go for your screenshot. I'll post these on Twitter later. W. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. W's in chat. Can we get some wimps? Thank you, Kim. 16 months? Holy shit, you're so close to a year and a half. I'm in school, but I'm a lurk? Okay. Cool. Oh, if you can look at the screen, there's your sketch. Okay. So now that all of the follower names are done, let's go ahead and move on to sketch cards. I love it so much. Just you wait. Also, I didn't put your feet in. I cropped it wrong. <laughs> I'm going to make the executive decision. No more leaving skin tones white. You know, the whole time... I was being lazy. I hate coloring. But... No more leaving people's skins white. I'm actually gonna color match and shit. So... Oh, that's supposed to be vertical. Mag hot as fuck. <laughs> okay, so these are sketch cards for this month. We had Kobobo, Mac, Electra, and Kim. Since Kim is in chat, we'll do yours first. I was gonna do yours first anyway, because you usually don't watch. So, let's get started. Okay, just, just wait till I zoom in the face. The face is a bit rough. <laughs> so, I was thinking about how I want to do this card, and I kind of want it to look intentionally sketchy, if that makes sense. Not sus, but drawn. Like, I want to do more texture, I guess, and I want it to look messier. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that though. The music seems very loud. Not very loud, but kind of loud. There we go. <laughs> Lost Wi Fi, I'm back now. Hi, Kim. Welcome back. Okay. So. I was thinking this one would also look really pretty if I did watercolors, but I ain't doing that shit. So, 
It's just gonna look intentionally sketchy and messy. I love messy too. I, I personally love a clean aesthetic, but I admire messy aesthetics because I know I can't do it well. The song slaps? I know, right? Any music is good. Okay, now let's color match. I hate color matching, but we'll do it for the fans. Kim is mid-tone, kind of pinky. Today I'm using Prisma colors. This is a, a pinky, fleshy tone. This one has a bit of a yellowy orange undertone. This is probably the closest to my skin tone. Which I think Kim and I are fairly similar. Very light amount of 943. Also, the color correction is not going to look correct on my DSLR, but it's as, it's as close to reality as I can get it. Because I did color correct it a little bit this morning. Well, Oh wait, also I had to trim my nails. I was so sad the other day. You can kind of tell this one's super uneven. I broke this nail because my nails were like super long. They were like four millimeters long. And I broke one. So I was like, shit, I have to cut them on. I didn't paint them. I'm going to leave them bare for a week and see how it goes. And you can see this one is like busted. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Okay, so that's probably the closest. So that was layering these three shades to get this shade. Okay, let's get to inking. The best part of the day. Cause like the, the face is less detailed. Also, Kim, I wanted to ask, are you like holding your arms behind your back? Or do you have a purple heart? Okay. <laughs> I I was cause like the, the way the the picture is like the way you have your arms, it kinda looks like it, you have a purple heart, you know what I mean? And I, I didn't wanna like <laughs> Say anything <laughs> without clarifying. <laughs> okay. It was super windy. Okay. Were you like, are you like, are you holding onto the rails because you're gonna blow away? <laughs> okay, let's get to inking. I'm gonna do the glasses first. I'm four foot two? No, you're five two. No, you're five one. I'm going to do like cartoony eyes. I need to go back to the eye doctor. You should do it. But don't get glasses this time, you have enough. <laughs> I don't know if it'll focus because I, I changed my aperture. <laughs>
Where's <laughs> 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 the full cartoon? Shit, I fucked up the neckline. This fine, it's cartoon. Oh wait, that's kinda cute. I'm home from work. Hi, Meg. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I think I'm gonna go in with a brush pen for the dress. That way I get some organic tapering. Tsunami pulling out the word tapering. Okay, don't they stop? No. Work is beating me up. How much more responsibility do you have? Because you said you're starting either this or next week, right? Like your official training. Okay, I'm going in with my Sakura Pigma brush. Actually, I don't know. I'm scared. A lot more tasks. I'm just getting more tasks every day I go in. As long as the pay is worth it, Meg, go for it. My title changes officially in July, and you're still in training. That's good. That means you got two months. And then you can add it to your resume. Wait, Mac, you said you're graduating soon too, right? Man, it feels like time passes too quickly. Oh, fuck. I did- I overdid the line where the purse strap goes. Well, shit. Oh well. I have aged a lot since I came in this shape. Dude, says you. I'm 25 now, man. Older than most of you motherfuckers. But it's okay, that means I'm wiser and smarter. 
Okay, so now let's do... I a very slight hem. I really like the pattern on the dress because it was kind of like a blue bubble. So that's going to be really fun to color in. Also has a tighter hem along the waistline. I'm excited to see what you do with the background of my cart. I have an idea for yours, Manic. Watch till the end. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. I think for yours, Manic, since you're in chat now. I kind of want to fill in the background with lines. Like, just varying widths of lines. That way it looks kind of pixely. I was going to go anyways. Oh. Well, I guess it's good I told you now. Oh, you get to watch all the stream. Oh, I misinterpreted, Sag. That day at the water was nice. Is that in New York? I thought you guys just had shitty beaches like us in Washington. It's not fair. Okay, now for the background. Wait, I kind of want to do a little... No, no, no. I'll do that in pink. I want to do, like, you know the classic? Like, the blush oval I do. <laughs> okay. Watch this. Super straight line, unlike me. No, nah, I'm, like, half straight. It's the Long Island sound. My dad grew up in Long Island. That's all I know about it. I think one of the things I'm most excited for, now that I'll be able to start saving money again in June. My sister likes traveling. She and I want to try and do a Japan trip in 26. Because... If I do Twitch money, if I ever get monetized on YouTube, and the money I get from Plasma, I would, I'll be able to save like two to three hundred dollars a month, basically. Once my credit card is paid off. Also, my credit score is now seven hundred once again. One score it says seven hundred one, the other says seven ten. So I'm back on track. But our goal by twenty six is to she and I to go on a Japan trip. That's the goal. Do I worry about my physical ability by then? Yes, I do. But I'm hoping by 26, I'll have my brain surgery. Because I'm probably not going to get the surgery till 25. Probably, because it's taking fucking forever for them to do, like, the test required before it. And then I'll have money saved by then. And do not worry. Paintings are coming back in June. I have ideas for... 
like lower cost ones because I want to do like four by fours. I think doing like mini mosaic themed paintings would be kind of cool. So I've, I've been sketching out designs and stuff. But as long as I keep exercising and doing what I'm doing now and eating health relatively healthier, I'll be fine. I just have to keep it up. Because my sister wants to do a bike tour in Japan, which sounds like it would go crazy. Like, I think I would enjoy that because biking, I think, is really fun. And biking in Japan sounds really fucking fun. <laughs> Like, after- especially after seeing, like, Sea Dog stream, like, I think I would enjoy a bike tour. That's good to hear? Yeah. It, it's also because, like, my Espresso Depresso, like, affects everything as well. Oh shit, that's too skinny. But as long as I know how to maintain everything and not let things get out of hand, I'll be okay. Because a lot of your depression symptoms are... What's it called when it gets greater? Exemplified? Heightened? A lot of your depression symptoms are worse or heightened whenever you don't physically move as much. That's why on days where you're like, I don't want to get out of bed, you feel worse. Because when you do exercise, when you move around, when you do things, you get like dopamine and shit. So I just have to keep exercising, keep working, keep going on that hustle grind set. Okay, my lines are kind of crooked, but you know what? <laughs> Wait, that one is so crooked! <laughs> Wait, I just saw that. Okay, it looks less crooked in person, okay? This is the. Because my camera's at like a. It's at a 35. This is a full bird's eye. Dude, that looks so much worse at this angle. Okay, okay, okay. We get to work. She and I decided we're not going to do a cruise to Japan, Sag. Because she was explaining to me, like, how... Because when you go on cruises, you're only in port for, like, maybe a few hours of the day. Maybe a full day. So if you're doing a cruise or you're visiting, like, five cities, you're not going to have enough time to, like, experience this city. So... I think a cruise is good if if you enjoy like just exploring downtown areas of towns or just eating because it's not like you're going there to like experience the culture of a city if you're doing a cruise you know what I mean because it's because like in order in my opinion in order to like fully enjoy a place you have to spend at least two days there that way you can eat a little bit Maybe see some tracks and, and then see some, like, historically relevant places in that area. But you can't do that in, like, six hours. The most you'd be able to do is, like, maybe eat twice. I'm gonna go in for some wood grain detail with a one-liner. This one-liner in particular is busted, so it's gonna have more of a feather texture to the strokes. Also, this pen in particular is dying, so it will inherently look lighter and less opaque than the regular liner. Also, I'm sorry I didn't stream for a few days. 
I was playing games. <laughs> oh, I'm also so annoyed at my sister. Okay, can I vent? Nah, it's like nothing crazy. But she told me like a month ago that she's going to a birthday party and it's a potluck. So I'm like, okay, just make sure to tell me. Just make sure to tell me. Like, remind me a week or two before that way I can like grocery shop and shit. So, and to this party, like her friend is renting on an Airbnb, like they're going the whole nine yards. And this is my sister's like first party party. Granted, just to clarify, they're all adults. It's not like a house party or whatever. But there's gonna be like 15, 20 people and it's a potluck. I'm like, okay, cool. So she tells her friend that she's gonna bring curry. And I'm like, okay, kind of a weird thing to bring to a potluck, but you know, culture. <laughs> so, and we don't have a crock pot. We don't have anything like that. So we have to borrow some from our parents. And the party is tomorrow. They still haven't dropped off the crock pot. Anyway, the party is tomorrow, right? And my sister doesn't remind me until Monday. And at that point, I already fucking went grocery shopping. So I'm like, bitch, I don't have enough shit. Like, I don't have all the ingredients. So I have to go back to the store later in the week to buy the shit. And then my sister yesterday, Thursday, party's tomorrow on Saturday. Saturday. She's like, oh, actually, we're making, I told them I would bring Spam Musubi too. And I'm like... She told me this when we were having, like, lunch. And I'm just sitting there, hands on my head, like, why did you- <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Because, like, spam, the store doesn't always have it. So, like, whenever they have it, I'll buy, like, four. Right? So, I'm like, fuck. So now, because musubis take, like, an hour for the rice to cook, and then maybe, like, an hour to assemble. So, I have to make two batches of musubi tomorrow, too. And of course, my sister works tomorrow, so she, like, can't help cook, because she's at work. So I'm just fucking annoyed. Yeah, you gotta let the rice cool down, yeah. So it's like, you gotta make the rice two hours before you actually assemble. Well, this wood grain looks so cute. I love that. So yeah, I'm annoyed at her, but it's fine. It's whatever. But, dude, my- okay. If you go to a party, are you really going to have the curry? You know what I mean? Are you really? So, for okay. Another thing I was annoyed about, about the, about the stupid curry. So, my sister was like, can we just put it in bowls? I'm like, yeah. But you can't have shit le left out at room temp for like four hours. It's going to go bad and you don't want to like kill everybody there. So, first we were going to like get mini glass bowls. And then people could, like, microwave the bowls. But then we are like, shit, that's gonna be expensive. So then my sister was like, oh, I'll ask our dad for a crock pot. I'm like, okay, let's see if he actually brings it. Because... I'll be honest, my parents are flakes. <laughs> and it's already Friday, and they still haven't, like, texted my sister back about the crock pot. So... I don't know. She should have gone with sandwiches. That's what I said! That's what I said! But of course, she had to be extra. But it's whatever. It's her first party. Sandwiches are boring. Says the guy who can't cook. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Okay, let's see. What should I do next? I should do the city tonight. Okay, so a little art lesson for you guys. Notice how everything in the foreground, I used a thicker line art. Now things that we're gonna draw in the background, I'm gonna use a thinner line because things that are further away are more blurry, less clear, and kinda hazy. So I'm going to intentionally use a one-liner. I would use the 0.5, but my 0.5 is dead. I'm gonna use a one-liner and press very lightly so that way the things in the background look a bit hazy. <clears throat> Yeah, so I have to spend half my Saturday cooking for my sister instead of hanging out with my friend. But you know what? It's fine. 
I have this photo of Kim as my lock screen. That's so cute. You guys are so cute. Oh, this is Undertale music. Wait, Undertale music gets claimed. Guys, I can't play this. I forgot. That's why I don't want to play Undertale on, on stream. Because it always gets claimed. Like, it's not claimed by the creator either. Like, any- it's always, like, knockoff people who make remixes of Nintendo songs and claim it. So, anytime I upload Undertale, or Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and Tears of the Kingdom music, it gets claimed. I don't get it. It's so dumb. It's like, why can't they just, like, let me live my life? So this is like a little pier thing. Oh, I'm not doing it on camera, sorry. Also, is Disneyland worth it? I'm indifferent. Wait, somebody got banned. No, wait, sorry. Somebody said a bad word, I meant. <laughs> what was that? Finger food. How is that? How is that a black term? <laughs> Sorry, the music is very soft. There you go. I made it louder. I went to Disney as an infant, so I wouldn't know. Okay, I think if your parents take you to Disney when you're, like, under the age of seven, they're wasting their money. Like, you're not gonna remember that shit. Disney is fun. I wanna go. But, like, I'm not a Disney fanatic. Okay, question. I saw, like, a TikTok talking about this. But, don't- Okay, do they have certain passes for people who are disabled? If so, can I get one? Because, like, the TikTok was saying... Like, it was talking about, like, a special pass. And then they were complaining about people who have anxiety buying those passes and then not allowing the people who have, like, physical immobilities to skip the line as well. Because, like, people kept buying up the disabled passes. For you in a group? Yo, guys! If we go to Disney, who wants to go with me? I'll get a disabled pass. They shouldn't do that. I agree. Like, I, I, okay. I understand that, like, anxiety sucks. Okay, I have anxiety. But, like, I, I agree with the point that, like, it should be given to those who have, like, mobility uh, barriers. And those who, like, physically can't stand. Like, if you are more prone to heat stroke, I think that's valid. If you have, like, POTS or something, where you- where POTS is characterized by, like, rapid increase and decrease of your blood pressure, so it causes, uh, fatigue and dizziness. How about if you have stomach issues? You should just not go on the ride. <laughs> Sorry, but just don't go on the ride. You will throw up. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, then all the music is so fucking loud. I hate when people mix shit bad. <laughs> Guys, am I able to listen? <laughs> um, don't answer. Oh wait, that's the wrong scene. Fuck. Leaked. Some people have issues with their outfits. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, outfits. <laughs> Yeah. That is such a funny way to describe it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's valid. I don't know. Uh, okay. Huh. I don't know. Wait. I have to run an ad. I'm sorry. I have to run an ad. Because... Okay. Another question. If you get, like, a the 
the fast pass for if you're disabled, do you have to like show proof? Like, do, do you need like a doctor's note or can you just like get it? Because I can understand both perspectives because like for me, like it took me forever to get a diagnosis. And even now my limitations, like my... Oh. Hi Electra, can we get some yo's? So like my what's it called it's not limitations but it's where it's where like your doctor says hey you should not do this like my only limitations are not lifting and not heavy lifting i think you have to have a meeting and talk about what you have wait that's kind of based but then it's like i don't want the 18 year old disney employee to know my shit even though i told chat all the time <laughs> Oh, also, Electra, since you're in chat, I want your opinion on your card. Not, okay, not, I'm, I want it to look like a Polaroid. So, Electra, I want you to think about what you want, like, written here. You, you, I can write, like, live, laugh, love, or some shit. I don't know, how, how about we tackle this issue when I go to Disney? Right. <laughs> I eat your butt. Stop. Stop. Okay, so Electra, I'll do I'll do your card next. So just be pondering what you want me to write. Okay, back to work. This card is taking forever. Wait, should I draw like a shark fin in the water? Oh, another one of my life goals now is to visit every single zoo in the world. Yeah, I'll do a shark food. That's a lot of zoos, though. I know, but like, how sick would it be? To visit every single zoo. Because what's cool is that most zoos will offer, like, a premium tour. So, like, if you pay a hundred bucks or whatever, you can get a private tour with, like, a zookeeper. And I think that's the coolest shit. Like, if I ever have the money, I would just do that at literally every zoo. And then we could, like, film it and stuff. LA has got an abandoned zoo that you can explore legally? Are you sure? Did you forget to type an I? Like, that's kind of crazy. But that would be scary. What if there's, like, dead animal ghosts? I don't- I don't think I would like that. It's nasty? Yeah, why would I go? 
I mean, that would be like a Mr. Beast video. I spent a week in an abandoned zoo. Oh wait, honestly, if you went to a zoo, like, ever the weekend, it would get super old. You'd be like, oh, it's just another lion. Another bear. It's odd, but I'd like to go and watch a game at every single major sports stadium. I don't think that's odd. I feel like that's more common. Like, a lot of people like sports. I'm gonna double line these cables. Wait, should I make the cables, like, barbed wire? <laughs> no, I think that's too much. Then it'd really be California. It's always an interesting feeling to see the way others perceive you and interpret your features. Coming from, like, a fellow artist, I think that's really interesting for you to say. Why? Is, this, is my drawing bad? <laughs> I think... I, I, I... When I draw... Like, granted, the sketch cards I do aren't on stream aren't, like, my true style. Because there was a phase a few years ago where I was going to try and be a character artist. So, I think at some point I'll do caricature again. But, I don't know. It's really funny because I have like, oh wait, shit. I, got, I have the book somewhere, but it's like the, the main caricature, caricature guy book. Like, I have that book. And it's really funny because he explicitly says caricature is not about exaggerating prominent features. He's like, don't focus about that. But literally, that's what like the normal person perceives it as. Okay, I think the line art is done. What I have noticed, though, in my general style, is I draw noses very big. And I'm like, I'm not doing it on purpose. I think it's just because, like, I have a big nose, and I want everybody else to have a big nose. <laughs> no. Oh wait, this looks so much better with the pencil down. I, I do think I, I made the lines on the dress too thick. I don't know how to fix it. It's kind of like too late. I'm cooked. I wish I had more artsy friends. Cause when I was in high school, I only had I only had two friends who were artsy. One of them was really nice and the other girl was like kinda crazy. So like I didn't, I didn't talk to her that much. But one of them was more stylized, didn't draw people at all, and the other person only drew people. The one who only drew people, they don't do art anymore. They're trying to become a teacher, which... They should not be a teacher. It's a dying field. Artistic people are always a little bit crazy. No, for real, though! Like... It's because we see the world differently! Guys, am I crazy? Type 1. Okay, this is cute. Don't worry, there's no wrong answer. You can be honest. <laughs> okay, wait. 
wait, I think the face is so cute. I like it a lot. Okay, let's get to work. I'm going in with the PC927. Very light layer. Now the only thing about the Sakura Micron liners is that since they are pigment based, if you are working with other mediums, like crayon, or pastel, or color pencil, if you press too hard, you will pick up pigment and move it around. Versus like ink, because paper will absorb ink. So when I'm doing this, I'm coloring very, very lightly. I'm going in with the PC-997. <clears throat> now you can see the tonal difference subtly. Bottom's a bit more yellow, top is a bit more pinky shade. I always find it amazing, like looking at people who can do like the hyper-realistic portraits with color pencil. You have to have a very good understanding of color theory to do so, and also patience. Going in very lightly with the PC-943. And then finally, going over with the, once again, uh, 927. I think one more layer of the 943. There we go. Now for the fun part. Coloring it normally. Now it looked like Kim had dark brown hair with like some auburn in it. Probably because you had dyed it previously. Like the ends were more auburny. Gonna do a little bit of burnt red. The red never left. <laughs> Guys, should I dye my hair? Be honest.
I have no desire to dye my hair, just glorifying. You know, you should dye your hair green because you like Minecraft, right? You're a VTuber? Hell yeah. You should dye Libtard Blue? Hell yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. You know what, Ethan? Where are you at? Ethan, you got very close to winning Top Clipper. Electro got 10 points. Ethan, you got 8 points. You could win next month. Just saying. Just saying. Not you coming for my crown. Elector, please keep winning. I do not want to make Ethan VIP. He says mean jokes to me. I slacked off near the end, though. You got some good ones, though. The only critique I have for you, Ethan, is make sure to clip more. Because sometimes when you cut off, like, either before or after, like, the end of a joke, it doesn't give context sometimes. Like, I think the, the bit you clipped, Ethan, was talking about... Dude, your, your tricycle dog. <laughs> like, I know that bit went on for, like, four minutes, but you cut off, like, 40 seconds. It was, like, a 40-second clip, but, like, 10 more seconds would have made full context. But that, I think that was a good riff and raff. I think that's blended, like, perfectly. The hair. You know what? I think I want to save the dress for last. It's kind of like saving dessert for last. I'm saving the fun part for the end. The background is that place from GTA 5. Ain't no way! <laughs> I kind of love and hate how games have become more mainstream in the past few years. Like, gaming used to feel so- such like a niche hobby. But now there's like esports teams at high schools. You know, everybody plays Call of Duty. Which, I still have the conspiracy theory that the reason why Call of Duty is targeted towards, like, teenage boys is so they, like, get indoctrinated and, like, voluntarily enlist in the military. That's what I think. Like, I... I just hope that gaming makes people more creative and want to, like, learn more, I guess. Because more often than not, gaming, even if it's not a story game, is there to tell you something. To have you learn how to do something. To experience something. <laughs> There's a high school right next to me, and they had a bouncy castle day. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm trying to think. Did we ever have a bouncy castle? I don't think we did. I know there was one day where, like, the the high school class after me, like, rented out, like, a, uh, you know those places where they have, like, trampolines and bouncy houses at the mall? Like, one of those places. And then they didn't the following year because a kid got hurt. 
I think the only thing my high school rented was... Um... I don't think they ever rented shit. Because, like, our senior day was hosted at, like, a local sandwich place. Because I lived... My hometown is a very white town, okay? So, like, it was... You could get half of a free sandwich if you prove that you're graduating that year. And the restaurant is, like, super fucking small. So, like, ain't no way they could have fit the whole entire 600 class graduating class for senior day. <laughs> SMH, nobody lets kids get hurt anymore. <laughs> oh my god. You know, at the elementary school I went to, because my mom worked at it for years after I, I graduated from the elementary, they no longer do any type of bouncy house. You know the game where you have like a large parachute and you lift it up and then the kids go running underneath and then run back out? They don't do that shit anymore because kids kept getting hurt. Sorry, I just saw your message, Kim. <laughs> Dude, stop. Stop. Okay, the wood paneling is done. For some reason, the... Bannister bar railing is green. The floor looks so good, thank you. I think out of all the textures, I love doing wood grain. Because since it's an organic texture, it doesn't have to be perfect. Am I gonna get the Switch 2? Of course! We're gonna do a live unboxing of the Switch 2 today, guys! And yes, I got my hands on it early. Imagine, though. Guys, can I get clouded so, like, I can get free games? It seems like every single large streamer gets their shit for free. You know, why can't the companies give it to the brokies like me? Like, come on. Okay. I'll draw the shark fin. I feel like it would ruin it, though. Nah, let's do the shark fin. This, this, this card is looking, like, too good. Like, wholesome. We need to ruin it. Comically large shark fin. You know what? I'm gonna get Liddy. We're gonna add a drop shadow to these white poles. Oh wait, that adds so much. You can't really tell, but... It looks 3D a little bit now. Kim got fired from her job again? Are you kidding? That cannot be real. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> Let, let's wait for her to share, okay? Let's not be... Let's not be farming drama in the chat. That could that cannot be real.
That cannot be real. <laughs> Mac is gonna visit me. <laughs> oh no. Going on double dates with my mom and her boyfriend. Wait, I feel like that could be kind of fun. Oh no, I'm sorry, Kim. But okay, if the rumors are true... Honey, what the fuck are you doing to get fired again? Oh yeah, we're drawing Kim. This is actually the first full body card that I've drawn. And yes, I cropped out Kim's feet for her own purity. Plus, you guys should, like, not get that for free. Even though she sent me a picture of it for free. I got into a fight? <laughs> I'm joking. Wait, I'm... Okay, I hate you too sometimes. Because... Because... Sometimes... I don't know when you guys are joking. You know, it feels like anytime I talk to you guys, it's like a germ of it. I don't know what's real. I sent you a Venmo invoice. You think I got money? You think I got money for that shit? Change the drawing to have a resume in there. <laughs> It would have to be really small. Okay, okay. For anybody who is searching for- Or no. Who has gotten a job. Like, what What do you do if you got, like, fired? Like, how- Do you just not put that on your resume? Because that's what my sister's job coach said. She's like, if you got fired from somewhere, like, just don't put it on your resume. But it's like, what if that was, like, your best job? You lie. But- Oh wait, is, is that like, and say love by? Oh yeah, because like, are they really gonna call your old manager and like follow up? I would just say you're the job the day you got fired. That's what my friend's brother did. Like, he technically quit before they could fire him. It was really scummy. Granted, I hate this friend's brother. I hate this guy. And you know what? This person. He got fired for, like, harassment, which, it was harassment, but not sexual harassment, just to clarify. Like, he was just, like, he said sus things, but not to, like, co-workers. <laughs> That's, like, a, it's not my story. It's not my story. But, he went on to get a really good fucking job. Because he just, like, walked into a place and lied about his previous work. And I hate this guy. Yeah, if you put that you or if you don't put it on your resume, it's gonna look like you haven't it's gonna look like you haven't worked for years. Yeah, that's my concern. Like I don't know. I just wait <laughs> I was gonna say companies should just not fire people, but that's also crazy. I low-key want to be a bartender instead of a corporate baddie. Bartending does sound fun, but I would be kind of scared. Like, what if somebody, like, hits on me and I don't like it? And, like, what if it's, like, an old man? But what if he's rich? <laughs> I don't want to be a corporate baddie. I want my money to go to sports games. You know what? You sound like one of the boys, Mac. And that's pretty cool. If I had money, what would I do? Okay, when I had money, like when I was working three fucking- Nope, two jobs. I, I literally had so much money in my savings account. And you know what I did with it? Nothing. I, I, I never bought myself little treats. I never went out with my friends. I never did shit. And looking back, I wish I would have spent my money on like fun shit. 
Because literally, all of the money I had in my savings account went towards my parents. Because... This was... I've said this before. But like... This was really shitty of them. They promised me. They were like, Peason, while you are in college, you don't have to pay your rent or whatever. Like, we'll just pay for everything. Like, don't worry about food. Don't worry about paying every month. We got you. And I was like, okay, so they... And then, when I got a boyfriend, they were so mad. They were like, if you have time and money to spend on your boyfriend, you have to start paying us $600 a month for rent. And I was like, <gasps> Like, what? What? So, during the... Because I stopped working in 21. So, for the two years that I wasn't working, because I was fucking disabled, my parents kept... I still had to pay my parents $600 every month. And I, I still owe them, like, 4k. And they want it at some point. So, I'm like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? If my parents tried to charge me rent, I would start dancing to spite them. Okay, why is dancing written like that? I was gonna make like, oh, you're such a little TikToker, but what the- If dancing is something like crimes, don't admit to it, okay? <laughs> I would be mad if Kim got a boyfriend too. I would leave and move out on my own. That's what my sister and I were planning on doing in- in 2020 like literally march 2020 my sister and i were looking at apartments and we were about to sign a lease and then pandemic happened and if she and i would have moved out we would have like we would have died we would have had to move back in and that i think would be more trouble because i told my sister i was like i can i cannot go back to our parents i, I literally cannot you guys will never know why. Um, hashtag trauma. I think I need to make this water more green. Because it's dirty. That was a joke, Lamau. Oh, next time put like slash G next time. I don't know. I did score a 105 on my rads test. <laughs> Those streams are so wild. Wait, which- like at my parents' house? They weren't that bad. I definitely feel like I'm more unhinged here. Mainly because like... I don't know why. You were so tense. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. Like, I think the most I'll say... Okay, I didn't experience any physical abuse. They did that right. But a big reason why I streamed as much as I did, because looking back, because when I was editing all my VODs to like for the editors and stuff, like I streamed like almost every day. And and it was because like I just I just didn't want my parents to like talk to me. Or, like mess with me because they never physically abused me but there was definitely like signs of emotional abuse and neglect wait trigger warning and like they were things that weren't like crazy severe but still like concerning like it's not obviously as when you're an adult you kind of learn a bit more of what's okay and what's not okay and there's, like, stature of limitation to things as well. So it's not like you can, like, snitch. Like, it's different. Okay. This goes out to anybody who has experienced it in the past. And might still have family members in that environment still. If you have, like, younger siblings who are still in that abusive place. My thing is, no, sh no shame in snitching at that point. You know? The ocean's colored. I'm gonna make it a bit more green. But yeah, I was on that grind set because 
when I streamed, my parents didn't bother me. You know? They didn't go into my room and, like, say mean shit. I think that's the most I'll say about it. There, there will come a time where I say more, but probably not for a long time. I feel like we didn't hear much about your sister when you were at when you we <laughs> when you were at your parents' house. Yeah, for real. I was thinking about that too. Like, I, I talk about my sister occasionally on stream. She, she may, like, be on stream at some point. She said she wants to try and make a little VTuber. And it's because when she and I lived at her parents' house, we never saw each other. Because we're both really, like, solitary people. So we would just stay in our own rooms. She didn't like hanging out with me, which, valid. Hi, Kimari! Can we get some yo's? Hello. So she and I didn't, like, hang out. Because she was working a lot. Like, her old job, they had her work from, like, 6 to 4. And it would take her, like, an hour and a half to get to and from work. So, she would leave home at, like, 5, 5.30. Not get home till 5 or 6. And she would just be exhausted. Because, you know, burnout and shit. So, she didn't want to talk to anybody. She didn't want to hang out. She didn't want to play games. But she worked hard so she and I could be on our own. And I will forever be grateful for that. <laughs> she was a hater. No, she hated me for a long time. But you know, just like casual sibling hate. Like nothing crazy. Okay, for real, this card is taking forever, Kim. This is- this better be worth, like, the five gift that you gave me. <laughs> you know why it's taking forever? Because I'm using color pencil. Like, I'm actually color blending and shit. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, like, because of that... Because now that it's, it's my sister and my roommate in the place we're renting, like, she and I spend so much time together now, like... Oh, wait. I'm working on how to phrase this bit, because I'm, I'm phrasing this bit for a Mario Kart stream. So you guys are getting a little sneak peek. I'll get a frame for it. It will be the tiniest frame you've ever seen. You guys are so sweet. Um... Like, since my sister and I spend more time together, we take the bus, because neither of us can drive. But, um, we spend a lot more time together, and I've, I've talked about this before. She's not very expressive. You know, she has ASD. And just in general, she's very quiet. But the more time I spend with her, like, the more, like, visibly and audibly happy she seems. Like, <laughs> yesterday, it was the funniest shit. Like, we were at the bus stop, and we were crossing the street, and she stops me. She's like, hey, Peachin, I think that's a $100 bill on the ground. I'm like, no way. She picks it up and she she's like freaking out. She's like so happy to have found a random $100 bill. And I'm like, are you going to keep it? Or do you want to like be good and take it to the police station? And she's like, no, I want to keep it. She's like, this is like, this is like treat money. I'm like, okay. And she's like, can you look at it to make sure it's real? She hands it to me. And guys, it's a really good fake. Like, it's a really good fake bill. Like, in the... Like, you know how bills will have, like, a band that says, like, US, USA or US 1020? It didn't have that band, but it was a really good fake. So I hand it back to her. I'm like, yeah, I think that's real. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god! So she's, like, so ecstatic for, like, a minute straight. She's like, I'm gonna go buy this, I'm gonna get this. And the whole time, I'm like, try not to smile, right? And then she flips the bill over and sees the word copy. Top right corner. 
and she, her face goes from like so happy, like she's like so happy, and then just upside down. She's like, "Oh, it's not real, is it?" I'm like, "No, it's not." <laughs> and she's like, "Man, she was so upset." And then. As we're crossing the street, we see like five other fake bills on the ground. So like probably some guy just like bought a pack of copies and was trying to use it and drop some. And she was upset about it for like an hour after. <laughs> You're so mean, but it was so funny. And then and then I like I had a like a few larger bills in my wallet. So then I explained to her like how to identify a real one. I would be upset too. Okay, I didn't tell her it was real. I just said, I think it might be real. That's not 100% definitive. Because I'll be honest, do I have any fake bills? Let me see. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so I, I have fake bills. For like profits, right? This a pretty good fake, right? You can you can tell it's a fake, but the one we found didn't say copy money here. It only said copy money here. And like see the blue band? Usually this is like woven in paper fibers. But like at first glance, this is like a decent fake. So this is basically what she saw. And I'll be honest, that little shit has never seen a stack of hundred bands in her life, okay? You can use it for a bit now? Yeah, I, I have like a whole stack of hundreds. He's in her wait, wait, I think, wait, waiter white? Don't you mean Walter White? What? Oh, I just can't read, fuck. Okay, I don't know how to color the buildings. Yeah, I just can't read. <laughs> L yeah, I'm an L reader. I haven't gone to the library in a long time. I'm coloring the buildings gray because this is corporate America. Have you guys noticed how a lot of fast food and restaurants are remodeling to look more modern? Do you guys know why? I'll tell you why. Because... The uncomfortable chairs, the monotone aesthetics, the gray walls are meant to make you feel uncomfortable. That way you get in and out of the establishment quicker. They don't want people loitering at McDonald's. Yes, it takes away the charm, but you know what? This is late stage capitalism, everybody. There's no such thing as art. It's all fascism. Anyway, let's color this. Oh wait, this is- <laughs> Sorry, I forgot this was in the playlist. This is Office Sounds 2 ASMR, sorry. So in my son. Also guys, I forgot to tell you earlier, but you know what? We're another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're near, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Ain't no way. Okay, now for the piece de resistance. The dress. So the dress was like this blue bubbly floral design. So I'm gonna do this with markers. I'm gonna do tiny, tiny bubbles with my Cali Art 92. 
and then I'm gonna fill in with blue and then kind of greeny shades. Going for the win this month? No, what did you clip? <laughs> Wait, did you clip me saying fascism? No! <laughs> okay, just because you, like, make a clip doesn't mean I have to use it. But yeah, the more clips you make, the better odds you have. Wait, should I just leave this shark fin white? Like, it's an albino killer whale. But our trike bit is the perfect clip farm for TikTok. Yeah, it was a good bit. I bet whenever... I have to think... Because the way you, like, edit clips... And by you, I mean in general. Is different than how you, like, edit for YouTube and stuff. Because on YouTube, whenever you post a clip, the title is ten times more important. Because on YouTube, people actively seek out a video. They don't passively consume, like TikTok. So usually for TikTok, the first three seconds of visuals or audio is so important. When in comparison, for YouTube upload, the title and thumbnail is far more important. So for any clips that you guys make, like, I have to think of a good title. And I've been thinking about what to title the tripe bit. Oh no. I think this dress just looks cute like this. Like, just halfway colored. And I'm not saying that to be lazy. I'm always a sucker for, like, ombre type designs, though. Because when I was in middle school and high school, that's when ombre was, like, popping off. Like, everybody had ombre clothes, dresses, hair, too. Like, ombre was the shit. I remember the only dress, or sorry, the only dance I went to in school was my middle school dance. And it was for ninth graders because they were graduating a few months later. And I remember I was dead set on getting an ombre one. And then we found this floral one. I don't think I have it anymore, actually. It was this really extra, like, floral piece that we found at Ross. And it was the only dress that looked decent on me, because I was still plus size when I was younger. I used to be, like, so skinny when I was in elementary. Like, my sister found a box of pictures from when we were little. Dude, I was a twig up until puberty. The moment I hit fourth grade, like, I just blew up. <laughs> And also, in fourth grade, was when at school, only the secondary kids could get, like, seconds during lunch. So secondary meaning upper elementary. So you know my... My puberty <laughs> ridden ass was getting seconds every day! But I think it's because... I don't know, because like, 
I don't know if I have, like, a predisposition to be, like, plus size. Because my dad, he's, like, super short. He's as tall as me. He's, like, 5'2", five 5'3". Five but he's, like, bulky. But also fat. And then my mom is super skinny. Everybody on my mom's side is super skinny. I, I think I just got more of my dad's jeans. I owed mad money at school and I was in debt for school lunch. Damn. You know, they should have jailed your ass, Mac. Put you in Jewy for that shit. Well, I was lucky. We were always poor, so we got free lunch. Up until my senior year. Because my dad made a little bit more money, so then we were only eligible for reduced lunch. So instead of $5 for lunch, I had to pay a dollar. And I remember my parents were so mad. Like, my mom was emailing the principal and shit about my sister and I having reduced lunch instead of free lunch. She was so mad. It's partially because my dad started making a little bit more money, and then my mom, she got like, because she worked with special education. So depending on how many years seniority you have, and then also like what level. So typically the, the staff who worked with Kids who still wear diapers and shit, they usually get like a dollar or two more. You either got free lunch or reduced lunch? Wait, there was no full price lunch? Scam. I, you know what? Controversial? I just think all lunch for kids should be free. Why not? People say, I don't want the kids to go hungry. Then bitch, put your money where your mouth is. Make school lunch free. I'll say it. Oh yeah, yeah, they had different lunch lines. Like they had the normal lunch line, right? From like the school issued food, and then they had the premium line. I remember our school, we had frozen yogurt, and it was so good. Shit. Like, I would beg my friend to get me Froyo every other day. And it was like the littlest portion, too. It was only a cup, like, this big. To, like, two inches high, two inch circumference. The smallest cup. Okay, now I'm gonna color in with this turquoisey blue. Man, Kim almost blends in with the water. The dress came out really cute. Now we gotta add the blush. Of course. Should I add blush? I'm debating. No, I have to. It's my signature. Oh, wait, this is fuchsia. So bad. Can't really see it, but she's blushing. Dude, I've spent an hour and a half on this card. I always do the bit of oh, and people say I don't care, but like literally, I don't have any shitters or haters. And, you know what? Let's keep it that way. Or rather, I get like random shitters in my comments, but like, it's not like they comment every day. Which is pretty cool. Because you know what? It's so easy to block and delete.
I know it's easier said than done, but... If you block them, then they're just out of your life, typically. Most people don't care to make a new alt. Okay, I think this is done. Am I gonna block the celebrities? I've thought about them. I, I get why people are doing it, but... Like, I don't engage with that type of content anyway. Like, me searching for the profile is probably gonna garner more clicks than me possibly not consuming them. But I, th I think the movement behind it makes sense. There we go. Um, what do you guys think out of 10? Eleven, thank you. I think the dress hard carries, I'll be honest. Thirty-two, thank you. Whenever I see you guys type a number that is not like one, two, or one through ten, I think you guys are dog whistling. Same. I never watched Kim Kardashian, but I went to block her and then my for you people for you page was filled with Kim K videos. Yeah, exactly, like I don't really follow any celebrities. I only follow, like, internet people. The only, like, celebrity that I kind of enjoy is Retman Rock, but even though he's still, like, an internet celeb, even though he's more mainstream now, but I don't know. There we go. First card of the day done, everybody. If you want to card yourself, um, gift five subs right now. Who wants to do it? Okay, next I said we're gonna do Electra. So this is Electra's first ever portrait card. And for this one, um, they sent me like a mirror selfie. That's why this eye looks fucked up because the their phone or what Electra, explain. In your picture, I don't know if you're holding a phone or like a brochure. <laughs> like <laughs> But there was something blocking like this part of their face. And, for this card, I want to make it like a little Polaroid, because the picture that Electra sent was more like a square shape. So, Electra, do you, do you still want me to write Live, Laugh, Love? Oh, uh, it was a phone? It does not look like a phone case. Okay, I'll write Live, Laugh, Love. Do you want me to put, like, a date? Because usually people, like, date Polaroids. Like, I can put, like, apostrophe 24 or, like, a date that's, like, special to your song. Yeah, this is Electra's card. Also, in Electra's picture, it looked like it had like a pinky hue. Just put the date, okay. Like today's date? Yes, okay, I'll write that down. So today's date. Live, have, love. And then today's date. Okay, got it, boss. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so it looked like Electra's card had like a pinky hue to it. It could have been like a filter or like maybe the lighting in that room. Because I, I feel like everybody has like RGB lighting now. So I think a, a cool idea would be to just color it normally and then do like very light pink marker over all of it. So before I do that, I have to see how well the Cali Arts actually color over wax, which I don't think they do, but we'll see. After this ad break, cause guys, fuck, wrong scene. Guys, <laughs> we are two hours in the stream, so you know what? It's time for me to run, to run some ad, Sorry, I, I can't reach my computer. To run some ads! If you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your copy and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can link... You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe and see if you got a free sub available. And if we hit our sub goal today, you know what I'll do? Um, absolutely nothing. Guys, subscribe today. Support your favorite small streamer. Unless I'm your second favorite, then, um, uh, still subscribe. I want to hit partner plus this year! Even though I'm not a 
switch partner. Get back to work. Yeah, I saw you trying to type a bad word in my chat room, Mac. I saw you. You think I'm stupid? Uh, don't answer that. Making the music louder. <clears throat> okay. Now, Electra. You're not? Yeah. I'm not stupid. I'm just like... Um... Um... I can, like, choose when I want to be smart. Okay, I have to swap all my browns. This is, like, a bit too... auburn -y. You're not helping your case? Okay, don't make fun of my stutter. I feel like this is too dark. Oh, wait, this is kind of close. the photo off screen. What are the browns I have? have this red undertone. They look a bit more ready on camera. I feel like this one's kind of close. But it's still a bit too red. You know it's kind of a crazy hack? When you are like painting skin tones, depending on like what part of your body, you either do like a blue undertone or a red undertone. Cause it's supposed to like emulate the blood like flowing under your skin. Like, like if you look at your body, like right now you can see some parts of your skin that are more warm and then some parts that are a bit darker. Like, darker, like, bluer. Like, duller. Like, my, my veins aren't too prominent. Like, I got, I got lots of fat and thick skin. But on some parts of my, like, on your wrist. See, you see the vein under here? So, like, when you're drawing hands, you typically will do, like, if you're painting your wrist, you would do like a blue undertone here. Probably near your joints. Or the skin folds too, because it's a bit darker. Yeah. What games am I what games am I gonna be streaming soon? Um Mario Week! Cause Mario May is coming upon us. So probably starting Monday or Monday or Tuesday, we're gonna be doing Mario games. Ooh. 
I almost dropped all my color pencils. That's kind of crazy. Let's do blue. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> well, that's his face. We're drawing his face. I guess there's his hand here. It's, it's just too warm. You know what? I think what's also throwing me off is because the ref, it's- you're under pink lighting. It's throwing me off. Dude, I keep on looking, like, at my camera viewfinder, and then at OBS. It looks so much redder on camera. <laughs> like, it's throwing me off. Like, I'm looking at my swatch right here, like, with my eyes. And then the camera. Fuck. This is why, like, I I, I refuse to, to do digital art. Because, like... Shades look different based on like what device I'm using because I use um on my iPad Like I do What's it called? Where like everything's slightly yellow. I have that mode So then whenever I like I import a file to my phone, it looks different and it pisses me off okay, I think this shade is kind of close You've never drawn me. I bet you don't even know what I look like um, I don't know. It's funny because, like, all the people who have gotten- Wait, I think this is pretty close. Like I said, it looks a lot more red on camera. I think this is pretty close. It's funny because anybody who has gotten, like, a sketch card sent and, like, has sent pictures to me, Y'all look nothing like I expect. Besides Claire. <laughs> Besides Claire. <laughs> like. I don't know. I just I just think everybody's white. I have a lot of POC viewers. You know what I look like? No, but like but before I knew what you look like. Yeah, lemon so cute. <laughs> but most of the we're talking about, like, the meme-making stream where everybody submitted pictures of themselves on my Twitter. Most of people, like, deleted their replies, so you can't find the picture anymore. But... You guys are so cute. Like I was saying, I think it's really funny, because, like, I just assume everybody's wet online. But I, I think it's because... I was in a lot of, like, predominantly white spaces. Which, there, there's nothing, like, wrong with it, but... I don't know. I, I know I attract the gays. Type 1 if you're gay. Type 2 if you're lying. <laughs> Everyone online is white to me? I don't, I don't know why I think that. I don't know why I think that. Okay, I think this is pretty close. It's like a warmer brown. I think this is pretty close. That was... Um, I think I did... First, I did a very light 939. Medium coat of 941. Light coat of 945. And then... Between 997. Okay. Now that I have my colors ready... Let's get to inking. I kind of want to do just brush tip on this one. Because since it's like a closer... Or since it's a close-up of Electra's face, you can do like... A bit more detail. The moment of truth. Lining is always scary.
My bet is, I think Ethan is white. I'll say it. <laughs> Ethan is a white name? But what if his name is, like, not Ethan? Correct? Yes, we got him! But I make up for it by being a leftist? <laughs> Whatever you think, man. Oh, I gotta do the Polaroid outline first. I'm gonna outline the border of the square with my number 8 micron. A thicker to fine line. This song slaps. Yeah, this is from the Little Goody Two Shoes OST. I still think Little Goody Two Shoes is one of my favorite um, RPGs ever. Bottom line is crooked though, you can tell. It curved up at the end. I made the brow kind of thick. You know what? Uh, do they know?
Now for the hard part, the hand. I don't like drawing palms. I think I'm pretty good at drawing digits. I think, did I do a whole year? I think I did a whole year where I drew a hand today. I'm pretty good at drawing digits. Because I think the silhouette of a digit, like your fingers, is very unique. Shut up, man. I don't know why you said the word digits, okay? But I think the palm, it's like a block. It's, I hate the shape of a palm. I think fingers look so much cooler because you can have so many different ways to manipulate them. Ladies, back to work. I'll make the Polaroid outloy line intentionally thick in some areas for art. Happy little accidents, happy little accidents. Electra has some facial hair, but it's not like bushy bushy. So I'm gonna go in with my number one and do the facial hair kind of light at first. Moment of truth. This reminds me of the light skim gumball meme. Okay, should I? I don't know what that is. Should I look that up? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is it? Look it up. Oh no, am I in trouble? Okay, I'm looking it up. Light skim gumball meme.
Gumball as a Giga Chad. Like the, the pursed lips face? Like fuckboy looking ass? Is that what the joke is supposed to- What? 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 Oh, that's the wrong thing. We need to fix the line art on the lip. Yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't think this is my lane. <laughs> Guys, I'm too small to be canceled, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna add like a fade here. hair lines a bit darker after I color in the skin tone. I'm thinking about if I should do anything in the background because I think your background is just like curtains. I could do lines. I still... Want to do the- oh wait, I need to see if marker works on top. Testing? Okay! It adds a very subtle pink hue on top. It doesn't resist entirely. The ink isn't drying. See how it's reflected? The ink isn't drying. But it doesn't come off when I touch it. Okay. I think I want to do a pink wash at the very end. And then I'll just leave the background white. Okay. Now, time to color. Some of the black pigment from the brush pen. I don't want this to look like that one concealer brand.
usually don't do skin colors if POC would change. I was thinking about that too. And I said it at the start of stream, but it was just me being lazy. And it's how I colored for the longest time. Like if you look at my IG, you can see I only colored hair or like lips and eyes. And I was reflecting on that the past few months. And in my art, I just never drew POC people. And, I, and then I thought to myself, like, why did I do that? You know? And maybe it was just, like, me not actively choosing to draw different people. I mean, I'm POC myself, right? But, like, not choosing to draw, like, people who have darker skin. And I was like, shit, that's not right for me to do. Like, why am I, like, indirectly, like, whitewashing people? I was like, that's not cool. And let's be honest, I don't think a lecture would white would, would, would like if I just <laughs> give him a white card. <laughs> I don't think that would slide. But yeah, I, I said at the top of the stream, like, every other sketch card, I, I'm no longer, I like, I will color blend and stuff now. I'm not gonna leave skin tones blank. I'm woke now. It happens to a lot of artists, so many art tutorials and tips to cater towards white people. I know. I think it's because, like, if you don't, like, seek it out either, because like I save like just casual like little tutorials and stuff like on IG and a lot of them don't feature like POC models or reps and like shit I was like because like I want to try and be as respectful and inclusive as I can be right and that needs to be demonstrated in what you create as well something really funny though okay you guys have to promise to not narc okay this is a story about my sister not about me okay so a few weekends ago my sister found a box of like old drawings and pictures when we were younger and okay you guys have to take this with grace so my sister found like these little like workbooks that were talking about like prominent black figures in American history and it was dated 06 so my sister would have been six no she would have been five when she did these little workbooks and because they were like talking they were like little brief picture books talking about like prominent things that like prominent black people did in American history so, so it was like Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King Jr., etc. Like other prominent um, people who also did protests and stuff in the civil rights movement. And <laughs> as we're looking through the books, my sister 
she colored in like the people with black crayon and me and my sister we were like flipping through them we're like oh my god it was so bad like i know a lot of people will shit on like how Creola has like a separate crayon box of like 10 different skin tones but holy shit we we're like oh my god we're like oh and this is like little, little five-year-old kid. I was like, oh my god. I know it's so funny, but it's just so bad. And like, we were also thinking like, why didn't the teacher like say anything? Cause like on the, on the backs of the little coloring page, on the coloring page book, like it had like grades on it. So like the teacher saw it. Like what the fuck? And like, oh, it was so bad. You guys have to promise. You cannot tell you that I told you this story. My sister was like, please don't tell anybody. This is so bad. Clip? No! No! Granted, this wasn't me. This was my sister. And she was like fucking five. My god. I remember in elementary school, we went on a field trip to a play about slaves and it was so wild. Dude, it's crazy because when I was in elementary, like five years before I started elementary, there was like a lawsuit against my school district and they required for um, 10 years to have extra curriculum about black history and like not just talking about MLK. And it's funny because once that 10 years was up, they stopped talking about other prominent figures. That's why, like, if you're not educated, you don't know. That's why, like, I feel really fucking bad. Because, in general, I'm really bad with names. I'm really bad with, like, history and shit. But I just wish I knew more. Like, I was talking to one of my neighbors at my parents' house. And... She literally did not learn about slavery or Japanese internment at all when she was growing up. And I'm like, she said she grew up in Virginia. I'm just like, holy shit. What? It's like, I can understand why people can get all uppity about learning about certain parts about American history, but it's like, if you don't teach about it, then we're not gonna learn, you know? I remember too, this was, I think, senior year of high school. It was during the MLK assembly, and for, for some reason, the district wanted to talk about Japanese internment on Martin Luther King Day, which I, I have the opinion that all oppression or oppression towards any group is an oppression towards anybody. Like, I have that opinion, but it's like, optic wise, like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> like I don't think this is their day. <laughs> Like, I don't know. And I remember, I have a distinct memory of walking out of that out of that assembly and some like a group of white kids being like, "Oh, I fucking hate the J A P S's. Like, why the fuck are we learning about this?" It's like, "Whoa, dude! Like, oh my god, calm down." It's because in Washington State, in my county in particular, there was a lot of. Um, former internment camps too, so that's probably why, but I don't know. I don't know when I learned about the Japanese, to be honest. I just, they focused a lot on Black American history. I just think we should learn about all atrocities that we've done. I'll say it.
I went to school in Hawaii for a few months when I was in fourth grade. Like, I was only there from, like, August to, I think, November of that school year. And I learned a lot that year. Like, the curriculum was drastically different than when I went back to the States. Because at my elementary school, every grade learned about a different aspect of history. So... Like, fourth graders learn about the Oregon Trail. And then... I think fifth graders learned about the... Fifth graders learned about, like... Um, we learned about... Emancipation and desegregation. So a lot of black history in fifth grade. And then sixth grade... We learned about independence because in seventh grade, so for the junior highs, they learned about independence as well. In California, we talked a lot about Mexico. Oh yeah, so going back to it, when I went to school in Hawaii, we learned about a lot about like Hawaiian monarchies, like the American occupation. Granted, I don't remember shit because that was in fourth grade, <laughs> but that's what a lot of the curriculum was. Like, I'm all about state, state rights, but we should learn about everybody's rights. I'm indifferent about like having like a national curriculum system like I think there's pros and cons to it but I think it would be worse because if there was a national curriculum system like what if our national government just doesn't want to teach about certain things anymore like what would we do Right now I'm going in with a dark brown and then gonna go over with a dark dark brown that's almost black for the hair. Isn't your Supreme Court all Bible loving boomers? A good handful of them are. Wait, are you in Canada, Ethan? I swear you're from the States. Yes, sir? Wait. No wonder you're a leftist. You're in Canada. That's like the default. You can't be preaching that you're a good person. Canadians are, like, by nice by default. I'm not American or Canadian, but I live in Canada. Oh! Are you British? <laughs> No, but my island was colonized by then, though. Oh. Sad. We hate the Brits. Unless you're British, then we love you. Right now, I'm just going in, adding some curly textures with black.
I don't think they ever played like any like anti-drug videos in my school because I think I was past the dare era I, I think we did watch like one don't smoke campaign video but everybody in my fucking town vaped because when I was in middle school that's when like vaping became more accessible loving it thank you that feels really good because Electra like actually can draw and shit <laughs> They made us try drugs so we can do them safely. Okay, I... I don't know what they do in Canada, but maybe I should not go there then. I'm joking? Okay, good. <laughs> Dude, imagine! <laughs> you know how they have those, like, anti-drug assemblies? Imagine they just had somebody go on stage and do cocaine in front of all the kids. <laughs> That's like the safe sex argument. Okay. All of the people that are trying to advocate for... Fuck. Abstinence-only education? You're literally so stupid. Like, you know that kids are gonna smash. Like, it's, it's like, natural for them to want to do it. That's why, like... Okay. <laughs> no, I don't do this. <laughs> I don't do this. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm working on a joke, okay? I don't do this to preface. But, like, the, the joke is, I go to Planned Parenthood just to get comment, condoms because they're free. And condoms are fucking expensive. And when you go to Safeway, they're literally locked up now. Not saying that I buy them or that's how I know that things... <laughs> that they are that way. But they're locked up now. It's like, just make them easily accessible. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I used to buy them. Okay, I used to buy them. Well, okay. You... <sighs> 13 plus chat. You... You... Okay. You can use them on, like, certain genitalia, and then you can also use them on, like, plastic things. Is, is the best way to say it. Like... I'm just saying, you can use them for multiple staplers are cheaper? What the fuck? I know that. Okay. Educational stream. Add the hashtag. Planned Parenthood only gives out hella for free. Okay, I grabbed one one time and they gave me like a literal like a plastic, or sorry, a paper lunch sack full of condoms. I was like, I don't need this many, but thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to work. <laughs> They're so goofy looking. Yeah, a little bit. Electra's shirt was black, that's why I'm coloring it in with black. I'm not popping out. What if I told you, with that huge bag of condoms, I made balloon animals? Would you guys believe that? No. <laughs> I would do that? See? See? Some people got it. My question is, who needs that money? Well... Oh yeah, my school never gave out any contraceptives or anything. Which I feel like they should have. We had like two kids who had to drop out of high school early because they got pregnant, which I 
feel like it's kind of natural to like judge them negatively when you're young and in that environment but like looking back like I, okay i never bullied anybody for that i never bullied anybody for being pregnant but like i just wish they got more help your emote should be the drawings you do of viewers okay do, do you guys really think this will be a good emote what would we even call this how do you get pregnant <laughs> Yeah, same, like, somebody in 7th grade got pregnant, and she had to drop out when she was fucking 14. I don't- I don't know what happened to her. <clears throat> That's why it's important to teach proper sex ed, that way people don't have unwanted pregnancies or unintentional pregnancies, too. I think it's very easy to, like, blame the girly, right? But, like, usually the guy's fault. <laughs> like, yes, some, some guys just, like, splooge really quick. And they're just stupid. That's why, always make sure your partner's wearing a condom. Even if you're, like, gay, too. Because they help prevent the spread of STIs. Okay. Now I gotta color your lectures. Lips. Now Electra's lips are kinda pinky. I think people are just dumb and young. Yeah. Like, you trust your, your boyfriend one time that he won't splood right away, and then he does. Like, what do you do then? <laughs> Miss Peace, I have a question. Yes, Mac. Go ahead. Did everyone get tested? Yeah. I think- yeah. I think that's valid. Cause you never know what like underlying conditions you might have. You never know like... Cause everybody thinks about like herpes and shit. But there's others like gonorrhea, regular HIV. Like, I think you should get tested before you are sexually active. And then get tested whenever you have a new partner. Like before you have a new partner and then after you have, after that relationship ends. Like they recommend like once a year. Like if it's been seven years, probably, yeah. <laughs> like it, If you haven't had any new partners in that window, then you should be fine. But like before you seek out a new person, I think you should. And, like, if you go into, like, a new relationship and you want to, like, smash, right? I think it, it, it's good if you're able to tell them, like, yeah, I got tested. Like, I think that's, it's, like, another thing to reassure them. Like, I know, okay, granted, I've only had one partner. So, like, it's only happened to me once. But before we did anything, both, okay, anything, anything, <laughs> we both got tested separately. Cheating is so messed up, too. Like, how are you putting someone's health at risk and not telling them? I know, like... I, I can understand why some people, like, emotionally justify cheating in the moment. But you, you don't truly realize the ramifications that you could do to somebody. Like, if you do unknowingly spread an STI. <laughs> Good. Thank you for putting a JK that time, man. Okay, so I think the base coloring is done. Now, I think... I'm gonna commit to the pink wash idea. I can't show Electra's picture, because... I mean, I can, but I don't want to. Because it looks like they have, like, a pink ring light in their room. So I'm gonna just cover everything in pink. 
Hopefully this doesn't ruin it. Oh yeah, so like any time that I have to get my birth control shot, which I still do even if I'm not active because for if you get like the depo shot, it like represses your estrogen production. So like it basically stops your period, which is a slay. I hate my cycle. I haven't had a cycle in five years. Guys, I'm never getting pregnant. <laughs> so every time... Because they do, like, an annual screening. Every time they ask, um, like, are you active? Or... Ooh, wait, I'm kind of loving the pink hue. I kind of love that. Anyway. Or, have you had more than one partner in the past X amount of time? And I'm like, no. But when I was in a relationship, I was like, I don't think I've had multiple partners? In terms of, like, transmitting a STI. Because, like, you you don't know if your partner's cheating on you. Like, you, you truly don't know. Like, if you knew, like, yeah, that's different. But <laughs> anytime they'd ask me, like, I can hope that my partner is not cheating. But, like, I can never truly know. And then they would just, like, look at me weird. And then look back at the clipboard and be like, the answer is no. <laughs> How long do you have to be on depot for it to be, not be active? How long has been too long for you not to be active? Um... I don't know. Ask, ask your doctor that. I had to say like a month? Should I leave the eyes white? Should I color them? No, I think I think coloring the, the white's pink would be weird. Instead of using the marker, I'll just go in with the blushy tone. Okay, that doesn't look crazy. That looks fine. I think the best takeaway is. Just get tested before you have any new physical relations with anybody. Especially because, like, dating culture, especially with, like, the rise of, like, e-dating, you never know, like, how many people somebody's smashing and just not telling you. You know what I mean? What if testing is fake and they just guess at the clinic? Um, maybe you're going to a sussy clinic. It's a play by big money. Stop! We're not doing conspiracies. We're doing information, not misinfo. Trust your doctors, guys. Trust your doctors. But you know what I can have trust and faith in? Running ads. Because guys, we're three hours in the stream. Long stream today. Like, what is the clinic? You can get, like, regular STI testing at your local Planned Parenthood. If that is not accessible to you. Um, you can ask your PCP. Because usually, like... I know for me, like, I have to... They recommend a... a every two years, I take a HIV test. Like, through my PCP. So, if you don't have access to a Planned Parenthood facility, just ask your PCP. You get blood work every year? It's only recommended to get blood work every year if you have, like, a family history of, like, Illnesses that can be tested through blood, like diabetes or high cholesterol. Or if you have other outlying symptoms, but... Yeah. 
Feel they are. Don't ever be afraid to, like, ask for certain testing. The worst they can do is say no. You can also get HEV sharing needles and stuff. Yes, that is true. Okay, so I added a little bit of the pink ink on top of the whole canvas, and I like how it changed the shade of everything. Makes everything look a bit warmer. I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in the background with pink. Because why not? Also, it's kind of nice. Since I'm donating plasma again, every... Every three months, they have to, like, test your blood for blood-transmitted diseases, so... I don't necessarily have to get my regular... I mean, I haven't tested... Okay, I haven't been active in years, so... <laughs> so I haven't, like, had a need to go out and get a test done. But every quarter, they test my blood at the plasma center, so I know I'm clean. I'm active with your mom? No! No! Do you have to get tested after just kissing? Um, no. Like, there are some, like, like, herpes and stuff can get transmitted through, like, kissing or O-R-A-L. But you should only get tested if, like, they tell you that they have said STI or if you, like, have symptoms. Like, if you get scabbing and stuff. Or blistering, then yeah. You should go get a test. Should you get tested if you have a bachelor's? Um, do bachelor degree people, like, are they more rambunctious? Like, do, or they, do they, like, fuck around? Okay, I fucked up coloring this part. He's very streaky, I'm sorry. Shit, it looks so bad. They're too busy studying? No, but, like, a- I feel like a bachelor's is, like, mid- Okay, I think this is done. Now we gotta put the quote. I only have one chance. You only got one chance. Do not miss your chance to blow. <laughs> no, that's not what the song is. You better lose yourself. What's the line? Okay, live, love, love. I'm gonna write it in cursive. And a little heart on the eye. <laughs> Live? Is it commas or are they like sentences? Nah. I'm gonna do the no commas, no punctuation, just all capital. Live? Live, laugh. A love. <laughs> and then today's day. Polaroid 
card. If you want a Polaroid card, uh, just give five subs right now. Love it. Thank you. Here we go. We had Electra's first card. I hope you like it. Oh, also, PSA. Anybody who get a, who's getting a card today, Kim, Mac, Electra, Kobobo, please resend me your mailing address. Because it's fucking annoying having to scroll up. I'll be honest. Because on Twitter DMs, you can't pin a message. Why not? So, if you want these mailed to you, please resend your mailing address. There you go, our second card. It's so cute. Simple, but cute. Next. Let's do Mac. Mac is in chat. Okay, so Mac sent, like, a selfie pic of them at the beach. So, for this card, just regular, simple-ass portrait. But I think when I'm coloring the beach, the water, and the skyline, I want to do lines. That is the plan. Plan is simple. Dude, we're already three hours in. Dude, I have other shit I have to do today. Somebody got auto modded. Yeah, that is true, Kim. That is a true fact. I'm looking at Electra's card and I want to make the facial hair darker. I forgot to do that. So we're going to make it a little bit darker. Me all the day. Yeah, also girlies or guys too. If you ever notice like pimples in your hoo-ha, it could be because your your guy doesn't wash his beard well. Like it could be like your skin reacting to the the shampoos or conditioners that your your boyfriend is using in their beard. Which I had no clue. I saw it in a TikTok last week, so it has to be real. <laughs> I read the papers in Planned Parenthood. <laughs> I love that for you. Okay, I'm making Electra's facial hair a little bit darker. Did you guys see that shadow? A plane just flew over and it blacked out my whole room. <laughs> That was scary. Oh, this looks a lot better darkening it. You guys have taught me so much. Yeah, this is shit we have to worry about because guys are gross. I'll go shave my beard. No, no, no. Like, well. Yeah. Like, it can stay in, like, your, your pubic region, too, but... I know for my example is specifically talking about like men's facial hair. Oh, that is cute. And it's nice that your mom took you there. You know, I guess your mom is woke. What the hell? <laughs> I do know for- wait, I'm not sure. Do you have to be 16 to, like, go to parent Planned Parenthood? Or maybe you have to be 16 to get certain types of birth control. I don't know. She is very not woke. <laughs> okay, that looks a lot better filled in. A lot better. Why would they have a- well- like, an age minimum, I guess, kind of makes sense. I I don't know. I, I have to look it up. Because, like, I didn't start going until I was 18. Because, like, I didn't want my parents, like, knowing anything. Okay, not that I was fucking around. Okay? I was not. I didn't have any friends, let alone, let alone a boyfriend in high school. Or girlfriend. Sag. <laughs> Dude, it's so cute looking back, like, thinking... Back on, like, my younger self, like, dude, every single year in middle and high school, I had a crush on a boy and a girl. And, like, I didn't fully come to terms with me being bi until I graduated school. Like, I didn't realize it had a name, you know? I was like, oh, I'm just kind of gay. But I was like, oh. Like, I started going online, I'm like, oh, that's what bi means. 
I've never gone to a clinic ever in my life. Don't worry, they're not that bad. More often than not, doctors will be super accepting about most anything. Because a doctor's office is a fairly neutral place. Like, they're not there to arrest you. They're there to help you. So don't ever be scared. They're gonna ask if I'm pregnant. <laughs> It is so funny. It sucks because, like, every six months I have to take a urine test. Because they do the urine test to see if you're pregnant. Like, on birth control. But it's like... I'm literally not fucking. <laughs> so, like... Scratching my head. Hmm. What is this? <laughs> it's like, I don't think I need to be taking this piss test. I don't like peeing in a cup, dude. It's so difficult. After five years, I'm, I still can't aim. Not you doing bi erasure on yourself? I just didn't know! Okay, I'm gonna outline with a brush pen. Also, I'm getting really hungry. My stomach is growling, so I gotta hurry up. Now the staff expect it. They expect it. I'm also adding lashes because your lashes in this pic mac were very prominent. I wish I had big lashes. I got tiny lashes. It's so unfair. Because guys just naturally have longer lashes. It's like a survival trait. Ain't no way. Thank you for the tier one resub, Alex. Can we get some Walexes in chat? Thank you. Five months? You are so close to a six month batch. But thank you, Alex. Yeah, it's so unfair. Guys have longer lashes. And it's not its not like I'm trying to get longer lashes. Like, I'm not doing extensions or I'm doing, like, serums. Because, you know, I like how I look. But, you know, they can do it effortlessly. It's so unfair. Okay, I kind of fucked up the nose ring. I'll have to do that in silver later.
Mac, I have a question. In this picture, were you wearing your your little gem necklace? Don't be shy, you can answer honestly. Yes, you were. <laughs> Yeah, because that's the bag strap, and that's your your special crystal. Yeah, you're Jake. Michael Bobo, can we get some yo's? Hello. Three hours late in the stream? Yeah, that's going on your... Your weekly needs improvement list. <laughs> I haven't done your card yet, Kobobo, so don't worry. I saved it for last. Okay, I think I have... The primary line are done. Now to color match. Alright, I could erase first. Yeah, I always try to do cards of people who are in chat first. Because I know people come in and out. Okay, so Mag Shade is similar to Kim's, but like a little bit lighter. How did I get this color? Me all every day. See, Kobobo's gonna be easy. Kobobo's just gonna need this shade. And like, maybe like a little bit of like, a yellow undertone. <laughs> Color emoji. <laughs> but I'm being honest. If I had to do mine, mine would be hard too. Okay, gotta remember how to do this shade now. Kobobo is like even lighter than this though. Kobobo is gonna be. You're drawing skin now, yeah. I'm trying to be woke. No! Oh no! Did you guys hear that? Dropping a prisma color is actually really fucking bad. Cause the. The wax lead is very fragile. That's pretty close. A 
was pretty close. I'm just gonna make it a little bit warmer. I think I've colored flesh tone before. It was for one of Max cards. But I'm trying to be woke. Okay, I joke about like being woke ironically. But I think a lot of people get hung up on the word woke and not understand the meaning of trying to be woke, quote unquote. Like, you're just trying to be more inclusive so, like, people don't, like, hate themselves. That's why, like, I hate when people say I'm anti woke or I'm anti. I'm anti LGBT or anti blank positivity. It's like, yeah, I can understand if you don't relate to it, but it's like. The reason why those movements are getting prominence in like online spaces, in real life spaces like work or school, it's so like people and kids don't like fucking hate themselves. So like if you're anti more progressive or inclusive movements, you just want people to like hate themselves more. Like that's what you're indirectly doing when you say you're anti blank. Like. That's how I see it, rather. It's because a lot of people don't look at the meaning behind movements. Because when you're anti-something, you're just denying the existence of something. Like, that's why counter-protests are so fucking stupid, in my opinion. Because if, if you're counter-protesting something then you're just denying what is happening. Like, you're denying reality. Like, it's really fucking frustrating to see, like, um, BLM, like, imagery or bumper car stickers. Like, Washington, a very liberal state, okay? But there's still some people who want to, like, raise their flags. And it's like, dude... It, it's really frustrating. Because you're just invalidating so many people with that specific counter movement. And you're just choosing to deny the prejudice and racism that people still face. Like, it's so stupid. More often than not, people who do choose to partake in the counter-protest movements, they just don't know somebody who's affected by the original protest. Or they're just choosing to be facetious. Like, I had a few people close to me, like, not understand BLM in particular, and kind of understand the sentiments behind BLM more. But then once you break things down and share your perspective or share other people's lived experiences who have experienced that prejudice, more often than not, they'll change their mind. Like, I have the opinion that, yeah, people are stupid, 
but stupid people? They're more susceptible to, like, changing their mind. Because <laughs> more often than not, people will just believe what they're told. So you just have to tell them different things. I think that's pretty close. And Max lips are pretty pink. Huh? What are you hunting? Max lips are pink. I'm just stating a fact. I mean, that's that's like the right shade but it looks too pink okay what happened to my music what the hell we fit music classic Lighten them a little bit. Max hair is a dark brown. I just realized I didn't eat breakfast today. I'm taking an executive snack break. I'm gonna grab a granola bar. Shit, I was... <laughs> I have Fiber One Bar, hashtag not sponsored. Dude, I was wondering. <laughs> You know why? It's because I usually eat breakfast at 10, but I started streaming at 10. I'm usually pretty good at, like, eating at a scheduled time throughout the day. But whenever I'm working on, like, projects, like if I'm editing or drawing, and it's during the scheduled time, I just forget. I'm gonna eat half of this. Also... Some of you guys might have forgotten to click the follow button. Because we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click that follow button. If you follow right now, I will write your name. Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. Because it's in the title, so I would never lie.
taking another bite. I was thinking about this the other day. But I've been cooking most every other day for the past year and a half. And I still enjoy cooking. But I'm getting kind of like sick of eating my food. Which makes little sense. And I, I felt that way for like a month now. Where I'm just like, I'll make the food. It looks good. But I like, I don't want to eat it. And I was pondering and pondering, like, why do I think this way? And I think it's because, like, I want somebody to cook for me. Because <laughs> the, the way I see cooking, I see it as, like, an act of love or care. And my sister doesn't know how to cook. Dude, I tell her to stir a pot, and she doesn't, like, stir it right, if that makes sense. And, like, that epiphany dawned on me the other day. I was like, shit. Dude, I want somebody to care for me. Now, I don't want no mommy. I would like to clarify. You know, I'm an independent girl boss slay. But, I want somebody to cook for me for what? It'll happen one day. I'll get a GF one day. Wait, but what if she can't cook? No! My sister does not cook. That little shit will use metal utensils on non stick pan. And we have such few metal utensils. Dumbass will use a butter knife on a sheet pan. <gasps> but it's fine. If you don't know, you don't know. Now she knows. <laughs> there was one time, I think I told Chat this before. Man, your eyebrows are snatched. There was one time, my sister, she made, like, pizza in the oven. And she cut the pizza with scissors, which is a strat, okay? But she scratched the sheet pan with the bottom of the scissor. So now there's a huge gash in our best sheet pan. And I look at him like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, that's how you get cancer, by scraping the pan. Right, you get cancer from using nonstick, but you get it faster by destroying the sealant in the pan. Oh! Your sister as well? No, she's just clueless. Our mom didn't have us help in the kitchen often. And if anything, our mom just had us do assembly stuff. So like make dim sum, make wonton wrappers. But like she, ne she rarely had us help with stovetop cooking. So if you don't learn, you don't know. Well, my sister hasn't messed up since, so she learned. You know what I forgot in Electra's card? I made- I forgot to make him alive. We forgot to add the Irish shine. The classic. You're no longer dead, Electra. I revived you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Such a little detail, but it adds so much.
Mac is wearing a tie-dye shirt. My arch nemesis. I hate tie-dye. I can appreciate the craft, but I think they're still tacky as all hell. You know, I'll say it. I think making tie-dye is a white-ass hobby. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. <laughs> Yeah, send me the whole fit. It's so fun, though. I can appreciate the craft, but... I still stand behind what I say. I'm also a hater of tie-dye because it's really hard to draw. I think I'm just a hater. It's so much more fun to talk about things you don't like. I wonder why that is. Maybe I'm just silly. Two more bites. Now that the main subject is color. For the background, I'm gonna do lines only. What's that? 
Fiverr won Chewy Bar Oats and Chocolate Flavor. Hashtag not sponsored. But consuming more fiber helps with diabetes, it helps with cholesterol. Because the more fiber you have, the faster things pass through your body. So I've been increasing my fiber intake. And my protein intake, because plasma. The more physical protein you eat, the more protein... The more, like, protein is in your, your plasma. And then it makes more better medicine. in the background which is nine so we got sand sky ocean swapping out for a darker blue now no one distract me kicked my tripod. The only person I have to worry about apparently is myself. The sand is done. Now for the water. water is very blue. I'm still tripping over the fact we learned during the ASD stream that some people on the spectrum see colors different. That to me is still crazy. I asked my sister, she doesn't have that. But it's still wild. Like, because we read that either they see things, or some people, See things like 10% lower saturation or 10% higher saturation. It's interesting. Okay, last bite. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, we learned it because the during the RADS test stream, I read through like other articles talking about like other symptoms people can experience. But yeah, it's a thing for shit. It's either it was either ten or it was between five and fifteen percent of people who have ASD. It's synesthesia. No, that's something else. And watch the VOD. 
But more often than not, it can be debilitating because some people experience, like, enhanced, like, light refractions. So, like, either their vision's kind of hazy or things look, like, shiny because the light reflects differently in their eye corneas or their eye cones. for this guy. Ooh, that look that cloud shape looks nice. Man, I love line art. There's this one creator I see on Instagram all the time. I don't follow them, but I see their reels all the time. And they do like illustrated pieces. Where it's just like overlapping lines. Like straight curve, they also do like just thick paint brush strokes. It's very like if you see it, you know it. Like their art is that prominent online. But it's such a cool style that I feel like I would enjoy doing. Because I like repetitive motions. I don't I okay, I hate pointillism. But I really enjoy doing line work. I'm not drawing the sun. That was only for fun. Do you guys want a leak of what tomorrow's YouTube video is going to be? I'm still finalizing the thumbnail. I'm figuring out what picture I want to use. Yes? Put your best guess what tomorrow's video is going to be. Hint, it does have to do with Mother's Day. Hmm. <laughs> Whoever guesses it right, I'll give a high five to. I'm not even lying. Cooking Mama? No. No high five for you. It is the Valentine's Day stream making a bouquet for your mother.
That's partially why I chose to do the bouquet stream for Valentine's, because I feel like that theme can be applied to, like, any time of the year. And I think Mother's Day is a really funny day to upload that video. Simple. And I kind of like it. I don't think there's anything else I can add to this. Should I draw a shark in the water? <laughs> nah, that'd be silly. Or maybe like birds. I feel like I could do birds. I'll do birds. Birds are cute. There we go. We got Max sketch card for April. Cute. One card left, everybody. Can you guys, like, just not subscribe or give subs so we have, like, less cards next time? <laughs> I'm kidding! Of course, Mac. Okay, last but not least, we have Cole Bobo. Every time Cole Bobo gets a card, they have, like, a crazy sweater. This month, they had a panda sweater. So to add on top of that, we're gonna give Cole Bobo little ears and then I did a panda paw print and a heart <laughs> let's get started but before I get started oh my god are we another hour into stream ain't no way guys click subscribe right now see if you got a prime sub available it's free you heard that right it is free 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 or uh pay five bucks and you get cool emotes all month long so subscribe right now Oops, almost ran in a, a thousand second ad. Sorry. to go throw my granola bar wrapper away. Okay. The little car should be easy. Not because I may only need to use one color pencil. <laughs> but the, the nice thing about baggier sweaters is that it's not a lot of fine detail. I'm going to start off with the Pigma brush.
In this picture, Kobobo had like a little bit of a smirk. I was debating if I wanted to do like panda ear like headband or just draw ears. And you know what? I think it's funny if I just do panda ears without the headband. <laughs> I'm doing it. You know, if Kobobo's not here, they can't protest. This is what he gets for showing up three hours late. Now for the sweater. I'm gonna give it a jagged edge because it was a fuzzy sweater.
doing that hurt. Doing that. I don't know if it came across on camera, but like, like doing this, like I'm jackhammering, but like a tiny, tiny jackhammer. Now for the Paul. Also, I gotta mute. Yo. Update the crockpot has been obtained. Thank fucking god. Crisis averted. We got the crop pot. Now, time to color. This place. This place, they. Dibujo. El Ojo. Kobobo is, how do I say this? Very white. <laughs> very pale, too. But they have, like, a very rosy undertone. Kobobo is, oh, sh I dropped my paper. Kobobo is muy pálido. Kobobo is very pale. I just learned how to say pale in Duolingo last week. They didn't teach us how to say darker skin though, which... If that doesn't scream inequality, then I don't know what does.
I kind of like the yellow undertone. It's not correct. Yeah, yellow ain't correct. I just wanted to see how it looked. I think this one is closer, but I need like an in-between of these two. This one's kind of close, like very, very light layer of the 939, and then a mid layer of the 927, but it just needs to be lighter. Wait, maybe Kobobo is the most difficult. <laughs> It doesn't show up on camera, but there's a very, very, very light layer of the 927. <gasps> the song. Guys, don't go crazy. Something we have yet to use today. I'm gonna use the 1077. This is the clear colorless blending pencil. Now usually whenever I blend with a color pencil, I will do a light, mid, dark, and then on top of uh, the lighter shade, and I use that as my blending pencil. But since I don't have a lighter shade, we're going to try and blend with the colorless pencil today. Now the benefits to using the colorless color pencil is that you usually get a more opaque color. It moves the pigment around, so you usually get a more saturated color as well. Oh, that's looking a lot better. Now you can maybe tell the difference. Yeah. I, I use the colorless here. You see how there's a- it's very subtle. But there's a lot more white patches here. And there's none where I blended.
We do have to be careful when using the Sakura liners and the colorless pencil because this pencil will still pick up the black pigment. So you have to avoid the liner when you're blending. When you're using this colorless pencil, you do kind of have to push hard. And this colorless color pencil comes in most of the color bundle sets that Prismacolor has, but you can always buy them individually. I personally bought a four-piece set a few years ago, and I still have them. Okay, now that color is nicely blended out. No white spots. And a pro tip when using these colorless pencils is that it's harder to see because I did use a tan color just now to blend. But usually the pigment stays on the wax. So I personally, I have a, a colorless pencil for lighter colors like yellows or tans. I can't find them right now, but I had a pencil that I would use for reds and oranges and yellows. And then another that I would use for blues and purples, etc. Because pigment will always stay on the edge of the wax. Man, my arms hurt. What the hell? Who knew art could hurt? Bubbles got golden rod hair. Going over first with medium yellow, and then going on top of everything with my crimp. It's like a jumble of grays and blacks and tans. So I'm gonna do like jagged strokes to emulate the fuzzy texture across. And it's fine if there's like white spots because it'll be intentional for this part. Because the white parts would emulate like the edge of the fluff that's not dyed.
adding some fuzzy details on the ears. I don't know what to do with the background. You gave me ears? Yeah, you're wearing a panda sweater. What else are we to think, man? when you show up three hours late, Kobobo. But I'm, I'm just showing that you, like, love animals. See, there's a heart. <laughs> okay, just because you're wearing ears doesn't mean you're a furry, okay? That, that's like telling all the Disney girlies they're furries now. It's the same thing. This is totally different. You're just wearing panda ears and a panda sweater. I'm drawing you in some crazier shit, okay? Who else wears panda ears? People who love pandas! You know how sometimes at the mall they have like the photo boots that have like the filters? This one would have made sense to make a Polaroid card. Then we could have like said it was like a filter ear, you know? We'll just say Kobobo's a furry. Ah. I'm gonna fill in the background with blue. I think this one's as busy as it can be already.
When someone sends you the puppy dog filter. Dude, I hated those so much. In conspiracy, I think those filters are made just to like bait people into just opening their mouth. I'm convinced all filters are sus. As, you know the one where like, it was on TikTok I think, of like, Shrek making out with you? Like, who is that filter for? Like, people posting videos of them using the filter, they're literally pretending to make out. <laughs> for me? Huh? Stop. Hi, <laughs> Dios mío. This is why we need sex education in school. People are going to be making out with Shrek on their phones if we don't tell them what to do properly. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, VOD watchers. I'm not saying that. Just because I am allowing people to make little edits for fun doesn't mean you can bait me into saying some freak shit. I have my lines. card is done. Not much else I can add to it. You should be glad you didn't send me a full body pic, Kobobo, because you bet your ass there would be a tail. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What? Huh? Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Unless... Man, Eastward music said. Man, it took 4.30. Who knew adding skin tones and adding an extra two hours to the stream? Who knew? The only good thing is that I get to rent- I, I got to rent two months. So I can make pennies. Did you even give me a skin tone? Yeah. It's very, very faint for comparison. That's white. Hey, you're very pale. Review what we did today. Don't show me. <laughs> Not me being white as baby. Don't worry about it. We wrote all of our followers' names from April. Feel free to screenshot. That's my mouse. Now, we get to move on to our normal calligraphy. So if you subscribe, share bits, or use your channel points, I will write your name. And just a gentle reminder, if you want a sketch card for yourself and I make you into a furry, 
Gift five subs by the end of the month. Right now we have Alex with four gifted. Very close to a sketch card if we want one. But today we had two resubs. Let's go. Thank you guys for redeeming. I'm gonna change my title. I got armor reveal. Guys, I'm real. Also, make sure if you haven't already, exclamation point YouTube in chat. Somebody type it for me. New YouTube video out tomorrow, 9 a.m. PST. Make sure you subscribe to the main channel for weekly streaming highlights and the clips channel for daily YouTube clips. That way, if you miss the stream, just watch the YouTube channel. I thought this was orange, but it's red. I'm not colorblind, I swear. Also, gentle reminder, if you got a sketch card today, make sure you message me your mailing address so I can mail out your cards this weekend. I did get an, uh, a mailing address from Electra, so thank you, Electra. Wait, since Kim is moving, does that mean she needs a new address again? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Once again, thank you, Kim, for the 16 month resub. Thank you. Mac, just you don't gotta send it on her behalf, just give Kim a gentle reminder later. Fixed it. I'm just gonna white it out. I'm not re 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 I'm not remaking this page. You guys didn't see anything. Hey, look, it's gone. You can't even see the mess up. I'll give her a hard reminder. Nice try to make me. Nice try in trying to make me say something naughty. You'll never get me.
Once again, thank you to Alex for the five month resub. I appreciate your continued support. Thank you. Now, on to Brokies. Use your channel points. Oh, I keep kicking my phone off. Oh my god. Oh wait, I forgot. I didn't show a close-up of all our cards. We all be day. <laughs> Sorry, they flushing on Kim. I have manual aperture enabled, so... Come on! Oh, there it goes. We have Mac. holding on my arm. Fine, please. Yeah. Computer? Please! There we go. Call Bobo. Okay, Electra, there might be a thumbprint on your card. Please don't steal my identity. I erased most of it. <laughs> and Electra, cute! Honestly, I love the Polaroid idea. Now we can write the Brokey's names. Three o'clock. We have to go make dinner like in four minutes. What's that?
Do we have anybody else who wants their name written? We have one name left after this one. This is your last call. There we go. And we are done. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatter slurkers, thank you for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed. The plan is simple. Taking the weekend off, gonna hang out with my friends and make begrudgingly food for my sister tomorrow. So the next time you'll probably see me is Monday. And, I promise, next time you see me, Mario Month will begin. Because we're already a week into May. So, I have a few Mario games on the Switch. And, I also have a few on the Wii. So, look forward to that in the upcoming week or two. If you guys want something to watch right now, there is a new YouTube video. Can you guess the Mario Kart song? Go watch it. And there will be a new main channel video uploaded tomorrow morning. So something to keep you busy during the weekend. Once again, thank you to everybody who helped support the channel last month. Any gifters? Thank you all. And Mac, Electra, Kobobo, and Kim. I hope you guys like your cards. They will be mailed out this weekend or Monday. Just make sure you resend your mailing addresses. That way I have, like, updated ones. And also so I don't have to scroll up in the DMs. It's annoying. <laughs> okay. Once again, I appreciate your guys' patience with me. Hopefully my fucking teeth will be fixed soon. But we'll see. I put off clicking go live for a few days, but you know what? I'm glad I did today. Call me cheesy, but hanging out with chat always makes me feel better. Okay, that's all. Bye-bye. No promises, but if I remember, I'll post, like, the food I make on my Twitch story. But I I'm honestly gonna forget. Oh wait, I gotta play my outro song. Me, I'll be day. Your final minute. Any last words?
Goodbye, guys.